Hey, this is Casey Demchak with this week's book marketing copy quick tip video. And this week I want to talk to you about a, kind of a controversial topic a little bit. It's called, uh, you know, the argument between how should your marketing copy be very short and concise or can, can it have a little bit of extra length to it? It's always an ongoing debate with copywriting. I'll tell you a quick little story. Uh, I got my first copywriting assignment 27 years ago. And uh, this was in the early 90s or so. And I was told, uh, Casey, keep your marketing copy really tight because nobody reads anymore. Everybody's so busy. And this was before internet marketing. This was before social media. This was before everybody had cell phones. So even back then, it was everybody's so busy, nobody reads anymore. And I probably heard that argument again sometime last week. And in between those two points, Marketing copy has sold billions of dollars in products, so don't let anybody tell you that nobody reads marketing copy anymore. It's still very important. Now, let's talk about how long your book marketing copy should be. And kind of the funny part of this argument is, is I hear a lot, book marketing copy has to be super tight and concise and short because nobody really reads it, yet at the same time, you're trying to convince them to buy a book that may have 90,000 words in it that they have to read. So if anybody's going to read a little bit of marketing copy, it's going to be people who love to read, people who love to read books. That said, here's a few guidelines that are going to help you determine the length of your marketing copy for your book. First of all, don't keep your copy super short just for the sake of keeping your copy super short because somebody told you that's the thing to do. You need to give people the information they need uh, to have so they, they can make an informed buying decision about your book, number one. Number two, um, you have to let people know, uh, give, them, give them reasons to buy your book right now instead of uh, later or never. So you kind of have to meet that criteria right there, those two points. Um, you have to convince people to buy your book right now because if, if they're checking out your book and they don't buy it, they may never come back uh, to it. And to convince them to buy it, you have to give them the information they need to make an informed buying decision. If you can do that with your book, writing very brief copy, great. But in order to do that, if you have to write a little extra copy, go ahead and do that. Because it doesn't do you any good to write short marketing copy if it doesn't give people uh, enough reasons to buy your book. So a, a couple other variables are going to determine how long your marketing copy should be. Could be um, how much competition your book has. Let's say you've written a book on how to lose 10 pounds around the holidays instead of gaining 10 pounds. Lots of books on weight loss. So, you know, why should people buy yours instead of um, somebody else's book? You may have to give a little bit of extra information to convince people that yours is the book to buy. As opposed to a book on uh, 10 things you should know about moving to Northeastern Slovakia. Probably not a lot of books on that topic, so you can probably get by with shorter copy. Just consider what your book is about, how much competition you have, um, how much emo you know, what's the emotional quotient of the book. Let's say you've written a book on um, how to find your soulmate. Well, that stirs up a lot of emotion in people, so you kind of need to appeal to their emotions. That might require a little more copy. Also, there's a whole lot of books on that topic. Compare that to a book on uh, 10, 10 home improvement repairs you can probably do on your own. You know, you probably get, can get by with a little shorter copy in a book like that because it doesn't, it's a very practical, straightforward book, doesn't stir up a ton of emotion. So those are, those are a few of the variables that are going to help uh, you determine how much marketing copy you, you have. And again, overall, I like to keep my marketing copy very tight and concise. But again, you got to give people the information they need to know to make a good buying decision. And you've got to convince people uh, why they should buy your book right now instead of sooner or later. So make sure your copy covers those, covers those points and you'll be in good shape. A couple more little variables. You hear a lot now that, um, well, you just need a good book trailer uh, video. You don't need much marketing copy, but if you have a good, and it's, you, it's great to have book trailers, but you still have to script those. So there's definitely still some writing involved there. Also, another little rule of thumb, let's say you've written a business book and you're selling it for $14.95. People are fairly well convinced, you know, they'll take a chance on a fourteen ninety a book that costs fourteen dollars ninety five cents. But let's say you're repurposing content from that book uh, to create an online program that you're going to sell for two thousand dollars. Well, people aren't going to just take a chance with two thousand bucks so much. 
So you're going to have to probably write more marketing copy um, when you want people to spend more money um, because to get people to spend more money, you have to do a little more convincing. To do a little more convincing, you have to write a little more marketing copy. So I hope some of these guidelines I've given you will help you determine the length of your marketing copy. Again, don't buy into the argument that everything has to be super short just because that's the way it is and nobody reads uh, marketing copy. People still need to read marketing copy. They want to be given the information they need to make an informed buying decision. They want to know why they should buy your book now instead of sooner or instead of uh, later or maybe never. So hopefully these guidelines will help you out. I hope they've been helpful for you. No matter where you're watching this video, why don't you scroll on down. Leave me a comment. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when my new videos come out. And then hop on over to caseydemcheck.com where you can download my free ebook, Seven Must Know Copywriting Secrets That Sell More Books. And until next week, this is Casey Demchak. Take a lot of action and make things happen.